Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's the first time you're here, my name is Liborossi. Three years ago I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis and ever since I've been sharing my story. I've even shared like the process leading up to getting my diagnosis um, on this channel. So if you want to go back and, and see uh, all my journey with MS, then I have a playlist for that. Um, it's always linked down beneath my videos, but you can also have a look and a browse uh, throughout my other videos too. Um, but in today's video I wanted to give you guys a proper update on what happened with my neurologist and uh, kind of like where I'm at, what I'm supposed to do next and that kind of thing. So I shared in a previous vlog that I've started a new medication, Vampira. I've been on it for a week and I gave you guys a little update and a recap of that in my previous video. But uh, from my appointment with my neurologist yesterday, uh, we have decided that I'm gonna continue with this medication. So currently I'm taking Vampira two times a day. I'm also taking uh, Baclofen um, every night before bed, which is a muscle relaxant. Um, I can take it up to three times a day, so morning, midday and evening, but I'm choosing to only take it before bed. Um, I was getting some not very nice side effects from it when I was taking it so often. Um, to the point where I couldn't control like bodily functions. Uh, when your muscles and everything gets relaxed, everything gets relaxed and uh, it was a bit scary but I figured it out and I've decided to only take it once a day. So I'm taking Fampira twice a day, I'm taking Baclofen before bed, I'm also taking a range of like different vitamins and things. Um, I have my next Ocrevus infusion scheduled for the 27th of September, so I'm on that. Um, I've tried a few other like things to try and alleviate my symptoms. I've tried, but it's too soon to like properly give you guys a review because when I started taking them, I also started taking the Vampira, so I stopped the first ones and trying to figure out what works for me, but currently I'm taking my omega-3, my D-vitamin, um, something uh, to help me sleep at night, which is melatonin and magnesium and B12, I think, in a tablet that helps you relax and to sleep a little bit better. Um, I'm also taking, uh, I think it's ashwagandha to help with like stress symptoms and um, memory and that kind of thing. I'm also taking I got the CBD supplement, but I've only tried one tablet so far, um, so I can't really give you a review of that because my um, my arm pain is just not going away, and it's getting to the point where I'm so desperate I just have to try something else. Um, so I'm supposed to take that for pain relief, but I haven't done it yet because I wanted to give Vampira a chance to do other things to my body. But anywho, um, I am what else? still suffering from um, my disability from this summer like um, I was admitted in June I had uh, I went from a 1.5 on the disability scale to a 6 um, I have a lot of struggles walking um, Vampira is helping with my strength and my uh, stamina and the stability in my legs but I'm still having really difficulty walking and if I walk too much I s like my spoons run out and I I basically would be bed bound for the next couple of days so I figured out that if I use my mobility aid in the morning when I take the kids to school and when I go for like when I need to go longer distances then I will be able to have use of my legs for the rest of the day and evening um, so it's a balance of finding what works for you um, I'm sharing I'm gonna share more about my mobility aids that I'm currently using um, but this is just a quick update of what I'm currently dealing with and like what happened after my neurologist appointment if you haven't seen my last vlog that is um, I have like there is just a lot of symptoms on here I'm not gonna get into all of them but there is not one part of my body that is not affected from my MS symptoms 
Um, so it's been really, really difficult for me to survive this summer and be my normal self. It haven't been possible. I've started working with a social worker. He's gonna try and help me um, get my disability certificate so I can get some help um, with various things. I will have to update you on what that entails, but like a proper disability sign for the car and rights that you don't have normally if you don't have the certificate. I have stickers that we purchased ourselves to put on my like mobility aid to show that it's for like disability purposes but um, I don't have it for the car and if I just put one on the car I, I risk getting a fine. The frustrating part is that it takes about 15 months to get that disability certificate so not gonna get too much in my head about that um, I'm just gonna be grateful that the process has been started or I hope <laughs> that he has started it um, but I'm also looking into like other things that could help me out um, I still need to go and arrange for some paperwork to, to like get things rolling but it's really difficult to advocate for yourself and like when you have to be in so many different places when you have issues of mobility um, then it's just impossible to get things done you know it's been months now of me trying to get this help and because I'm not able to go anywhere by myself it's like can't do it um, can't do it online you have to physically go there so yeah it's not very adapted for the system is not very adapted for disability but it is what it is um, my hope and pray is that now when the kids are back to school I can start doing more of rehab um, I have a friend who owns a chiropractor facility here nearby and they also offer like rehab type of exercise exercise help and that kind of thing so she has offered me to help me put together a, a plan, like a workout kind of plan um, that I can do at home. So I'm going to take her up on that now when the kids are back in school. Um, but uh, I'm really, really trying my best to do everything possible to try and help manage living with this horrible condition. I'm also being evaluated for other conditions. Uh, I have some markers showing that I could be dealing with sarcoidosis and uh, I don't really that don't really resonate with me when I'm reading up on the symptoms but my blood tests show that so we shall see what they said I've been referred to a rheumatologist but they're not putting priority on my case so I'm gonna have to wait for a long time um, I've also asked my healthcare provider to book me in for an appointment with a geneticist I think it's called because I've done my research and I pretty convinced that I have EDS that I have endosdandler syndrome and uh, if it were up to me like my diagnosis would already be done um, but you know you can't just diagnose yourself you have to go through the motions and to do some tests and things like that but uh, that resonates with me a lot and we have it in the family and my sister have it and I think my mom have it I think my grandma have it um, so the likelihood that I have it is quite high um, so I want them to evaluate me for that to know if like my my symptoms and overall health are only because of my MS or if it's because I have EDS and all these other things um, I was uh, told that I need to get a blood test to look for markers that I can't remember what it was called now um, I don't know where I have it now yeah no it's not that anyway they want to do a blood test to look for a neuro something marker to see where I'm at in my disease progression apparently that there are different ways of checking that um, but I didn't understand really when he explained it to me it was really fast and he was mumbling <laughs> um, 
So he said that they could check that with the blood test. We shall see. I have that scheduled for next week. Um, and when I know more, I will update you guys on that. But also advocated and asked for a second opinion. So I'm going to have to travel to Valencia soon and see if another neurologist could give me a second opinion of what they believe is correct treatment for me and that kind of thing. Um, so all of these things have been going on like for the past few months and ever since I was hospitalized in June it's just been like doctor's appointments after doctor's appointments and because I've suffered so much from my fatigue and my symptoms and everything like I have only been able to barely go to my appointments and then I've been bed bound the other time like it's been really rough um, and I've been home with the kids because they are, have been on summer break so yeah it's been a matter of surviving more than anything else um, but that's kind of like a debrief of where I'm currently at and uh, I hope you guys have had a good summer I, ho I hope that you are <sighs> I don't know I hope that you are not suffering as much as I've been um, I feel guilty because I know that so many people are suffering in silence and I hear you, I see you, I feel you, I just want to be an encouragement but it's been hard to be that encouragement when I haven't felt it um, and I've felt very lonely this summer um, very isolated and very lonely and I realize more and more that um, like people around you they just don't have an idea of what you're going through even if you explain it to them a million times they just don't get it and I can't blame them I can just choose to to move on and you know focus on what makes me feel better um, but not depend on other people to make me feel better because that's just not gonna happen I've had a lot of stress recently all my hair is falling out um, but yeah I'm gonna stop rambling now because the video is getting long I just wanted to give you like a picture of what it's been like for the past little bit and what's coming up so thank you for being here friends and subscribe if you are new I share everything chronic illness MS day in my life updates you name it um, if you have any questions feel free to to tell me in the comments or if you have like a video request that you would like me to do um, feel free to ask uh, but yeah I'll see you guys very soon much love bye